Hello, my name is Bob Willis, and welcome to Winnie TV here at live at Productronica. And uh, it's nice to meet somebody who is a face that I've known for so many years, Naeem. Would you like to introduce yourself and, of course, your new organization? Hi, Bob. Well, thank you for the introduction. It has been a very long time. Um, so now I'm, I'm working for a company called uh, Green Sea Rail. Um, Green Sea Rail are a specialist solution provider for the rail sector. Um, as, as I've known you for such, such a long time, <laughs> um, I've been you know, working for JGS in contract manufacturing for 15 years. And then I took a, a, a step uh, into the research world, spent almost 11 years um, doing research in electronics manufacturing. Um, and then I decided to do, go back uh, to the industry after you know, 20 years. So, so I'm here today. Um, so, yeah. Back to the dark side. Back to the dark side. Manufacturing. And as I said, we had great fun doing training uh, at uh, JJS originally. Um, what, what is the, the sort of key feature of your new organization and the, the, you, what are you offering the industry? So, being in that research, I saw uh, the gaps um, where the industry uh, needed. So I, I looked at groundbreaking ideas, some ideas I looked at that uh, how we can adapt and take that to industry. Uh, some did, um, some still hanging, still waiting. Now, when I joined um, the Green Steel, the remit was for growth. And, and what they wanted to see is innovation, uh, which was lacking. Now, innovation, um, like I say, going back to the research side of it, working from blue sky thinking, taking those ideas forward. Now, rail is quite a, uh, it's a slow sector. Conservative sector. It, it, that's the better way to put it, <laughs> conservative. Um, so a change is um, very difficult to make, but there are, but they do, they do t take on board new ideas. However, um, internally, they want to look at how we can grow the business, and that was the remit I, I've come in. So some of the things that I did was factor the future, sustainability for electronics manufacturing, and we very soon realized the tendering process that we started to look at, um, 10 to 15 percent of the tendering uh, was literally uh, demonstrating your sustainability side of it. So I very quickly, with, um, with the skills I had, Cherry picked the, the the good stuff I did at the the manufacturing technology centre, and started a strategy in in how we move forward. So we've got a vision 2050, and also that helps the rail sector because anybody who steps into the rail sector they want to see um, long vision, so they have you know the life of their trains. So any products that we produce that is supplied in the in the rail sector is going to be sustainable and 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 quality needs to be there for the next 20 years mm -hmm. so and and this vision 2050 that we've got and hence why i'm here today doing presentation purely to share from an sme perspective the, the challenges that we're facing and, and what we can do as a as an organization and also as a uh, as a manufacturer okay well thank you very much for a introducing the company your new venture, what you're going to be doing, and I'd just like to say thank you very much for uh, your you. kind donation uh, to <laughs> to the uh, the charity. I really appreciate that, and uh, as I said, we've known each other for many, many years, and I wish you all the success. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bob.